Why is therapy so expensive? In this video, I'm going to tell you a short story which will answer that question. And the funny thing is, the more you listen to this story, the more sense it makes and the more meaning it has. There was once a town and in the middle of that town was a factory. And in the middle of that factory was a wonderful machine. It was a metal miracle. A metal box that had an elaborate system of pipes and wires and all sorts of things coming out of it, stretching around the factory and even all over the town. It ran everything and it was vital to the town's success. One day, the owner of the factory came in to find his workers upset. Some of them were crying, some of them were gasping and running around screaming. Whatever's the matter, he said. You won't believe it, sir, but the machine's broken. <gasps> the machine wasn't working. Everything had gone wrong. The factory wouldn't work. The town wouldn't work. Nothing would function. Never mind, said the factory owner. I'll find someone to come and repair it. So after looking around, he found someone who was quite cheap. They came along and they looked around. And after a few hours, they said, I'm sorry, but... I've done all I can and it just won't work. I can't get it working. Never mind, said the man. It hasn't cost me much. I'll just find someone else. He went and found someone else who said they could repair it. And they were also quite cheap. They came along and after spending several weeks looking at it, it still wasn't working. And by this time, the town was falling into disrepair. The people were losing their jobs and everything was going wrong. Oh well, said the factory owner, I'll just have to find someone else. So he invited a third person along. This man bore with him a little bag of tools and he walked around the machine and after a few minutes of listening to the pipes and just assessing what was going on, he took out a hammer, walked up to one part of the machine and tapped it. With one tap, the whole machine spluttered into life. You've done it, said the man. Brilliant. Oh, how much do I owe you? Never mind, said the repairer. I'll send you my invoice in a few days. A few days later, the factory owner opened the invoice and was shocked. The man was charging him a thousand pounds. A thousand pounds? I've been had. This is a con. This surely can't be right. It can't even work. This is impossible. So the factory owner phoned up the repairer and said, I demand an itemised bill. I want a breakdown of exactly how you can justify charging a thousand pounds. You were only here for a few minutes. You only tapped on a pipe once. How can you charge that much? It's outrageous. OK, said the repairer, I'll send you my bill. A few days later, when the factory owner received the bill, he opened it and it simply said, tapping one pound, knowing where to tap, 999 pounds. <laughs>